Hey there. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about these little plastic shift lever holders on a BCS. Uh, these, these little plastic doohickeys allow very quick uh, swinging around of the handlebars because you can just pop these shift levers right out and turn your handlebar column around to reverse your handlebars for front PTO implements. That's all fine and well. The problem with these little things is, and I know this from many, many years of using BCS equipment, is that when these things get a little worn, the levers want to pop out of them too easily. And it's really irritating when you go to shift the gear and you accidentally knock it out. And if you've got the handlebars turned around, this lever, when you knock it out, falls down on the wheel. And then the wheel will try to bend it up in a corkscrew shape, which happens occasionally. So one thing that you've always been able to do on a BCS up until relatively recently is you're able to angle these things a little bit by twisting this mount, by twisting it on the bolt mount. Well, BCS kind of took that feature away and I am rebelling against it. So coming closer here, I'm gonna loosen this thing up. By, by twisting this on its mounting bolt, you were able to sort of change the angle at which the, the rod lays through this thing. That is, looking at it from the side, you could, you could twist it a little forward or backwards, and that actually had the effect of shrinking the slot size. So it tightened it up and it kept, from, kept the thing from jumping out. Um, these things are about $7 a piece, so you don't want to have to replace them any more often than you have to. What BCS did about two years ago is they put a little tab on the mounting bracket here so that when they mount these things at the factory, this tab actually locks into the back end of this plastic thing and it keeps you from twisting it. It has to now mount 90 degrees to the, to the shift rod itself. So when these things just, when they wear out a little bit, you've just got to replace them, otherwise they're highly irritating. Well, I have rebelled against that and I do just what I showed earlier, I flip these things over. So if you get a tractor from Earth Tools, um, you know, 2016 or later, it's probably got these suckers flipped over. You just tighten them down, and that allows you, I, I've not tightened it too tight, so I can still index it a little bit. And what I'll do is I'll bring it, I'll bring it to the point where I can still wiggle the shift lever up and down slightly. There's a little bit of play, but it's a lot snugger and it takes more effort now to pop that thing out and that'll last much longer and if it gets worn on that side you can always index it back to the other side and do it there as long as you've got a little bit of movement up and down and you're not in a bind uh, you're fine but with this thing straight you know 90 degrees it's extremely easy to pop that thing out these things are just real soft so this extends the life of these things considerably so we've been flipping these over on new tractors now the one time that this may be an issue is if you have some implement that stands up real tall in here, like a swivel rotary plow or the swivel moldboard plow, it might get tall enough under here that these things actually hit the hood of the implement or the, uh, in the case of a moldboard plow, it might come up and hit them when you flip the thing over. In that case, you'll just have to flip them back to their upright position to get them out of the way. Also, on the electric start tractors, uh, we can't do this. We have to leave them in the factory position because by dropping them down like this, when you turn the handlebars around, the battery, which sits right here, actually contacts the shift lever, so it just doesn't work. But on all the manual start tractors, we can flip these things over, save our customers some grief, and uh, now you know why you do this. It's not just that the guys at Earth Tools just don't know what they're doing and we're not getting them in the right slot. We're doing it on purpose. So, thanks for watching.